Now, if you start early CPR and early defibrillation at, let's say, minute seven, okay, so that gives you enough time for someone to run to get an AED to get it to you for you to hook it up and defibrillate the patient, then that survival is tenfold, increases tenfold from zero to two percent to 20 percent. What does that tell you? It tells you that the person who is very likely to save this victim's life isn't the doctor who's an hour away, isn't the paramedic who's 10 minutes away, it's you. So an AED is a, a, a wonderful machine. It's made for lay people. There's an on and off button. It's going to be very obvious. It's the same. It looks exactly like the button that is on your remote control for your air conditioning, for your TV, for, your, for, your, for everything else. So there's no way you're not going to know which one the on off button is. When you switch it on, there's going to be an audio, um, an automatic audio voice that tells you what to do. If the pads haven't been stuck on, they will tell you to stick the pads on. So just follow the, the, the verbal instructions from the audio feedback on the AED and also look at the pictures. So there are very uh, clear pictures on most AED pads to tell you how to stick them. Some of them are one on the left, one on the right. Some of them are just across and you just put it in the center of the, the chest and that cross shape will cover most of the areas. And just follow the instruction. It's really easy. We teach preschoolers how to do this um, and they often are able to figure it out just from listening to the instructions and looking at the pictures. So it's not meant to be complicated. It is for lay people to use. So it's really important to be brave, uh, be curious, learn what to do, and be brave enough to actually do it.